industry with the Devil May Care nightclub. You find them alike at funerals and fun spots, because some can be as gay as others are grave, though they're all made in the same place. This factory, at any rate, produces by various methods, some ancient and some ultra-modern, a million candles a day. They make moulded candles in batches of 200, but watch it, the thing that really needs skill in candle making is the wick. It must be spun so that it will bend over correctly in the hottest part of the flame to burn away, leaving it always the right length. These will be flower light candles and they dip them, 90 to a frame, in molten wax. Get the wax temperature right and the law of gravity looks after the tapered shape. The very latest way of making candles, 480 of them a minute, is by extrusion from crushed wax. This is the only machine of its type in the whole world. Birthday candles, 1200 a minute, an ancient process super modernized. Unlike them, church candles, with all the beeswax they contain, are still made in the time-honored traditional way, with the wax poured over the wick 20 times or more and allowed to cool and harden. Precise standard candles are the end product of this highly skilled and primitive looking craft. Candles link the whole of humanity into one big understanding family. We need candles for devotion or for diversion. We need candles to mend the fuse wire when our electric light has failed, or candles for elegance. Candles for the most fundamental standby reasons on the one hand, and on the other, candles for the most frivolous of whims. The candle comes from the dim-lit recesses of our ancestral memory and see what lovely things we've done with it. Birthdays or death. When we're at play, oblivious, or when time really counts. Shakespeare and the hymn writers spoke about candles and one way or another, candles appear to be here to stay. 